All right, welcome back everyone to Tuesday Night in Eternal. We've got a ranked challenge tonight, and we just finished up round one, and getting started for round two here. So our feature map, our quick announcement before that. So because we're at seven players now, uh, we're actually going to do three rounds of Swiss. We're still going to do the cut to the top four and show you the entire playoffs. So we'll show you both semifinals and the best of five finals. So no worries about that. We're going to get all the Eternal tonight, but we're actually going to do three rounds of Swiss tonight. Uh, so we can move things along, and with lower players, that'll that'll work pretty well, I think. So uh, just so you know, so we're going to go into round two of three here, and our feature match coming up next will be Yurik U versus Illegalism. Uh, so what are what are these uh, what are the deck lists here, Sonny? So Yurik U is playing the Knuckle Traxian deck that I requested to be watched. It's got uh, Nictor Traxian, as you might imagine, and also a Knuckle Bones in the uh, in the market. Uh, what do we have that's actually new in this deck? Not actually a whole time, just Blit Rock. And I'm actually seeing it's 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 a it's a next ten control deck, and it doesn't really have anything or too many things that are new. Just one Blit Rock, as far as new cards, as far as I can see. Uh, but <laughs> I like the idea of trying to use Nictotraxian in a control deck. I guess there's only one Nictotraxian. Still, that's cool. <laughs> So this this looks Everybody like it's just a you, you love know, the knuckle. Everybody there. loves the knuckle bones. Knuckle Everybody bones, loves the yeah. nictotraxia. <laughs> Look, you sh you show up to a tournament where there's money on the line, and you bring nictotraxia and knuckle bones. <laughs> you deserve some camera time. Absolutely, that that's a good and... point. And it just shows that you know you can anybody can join these tournaments. Free free to join. Bring whatever <laughs> deck you want. Doesn't matter how competitive it is. Everybody has a good time with it. Right, so on the other side, Illegalism has brought Karos Peaks, which is very similar to the Gen of Peaks decks, but it tops out as at Karos, which is the new 9-drop. Karos is a 9-cost, triple fire, triple time, 12-12, that says plus 6 maximum power. When you play another unit, it deals its damage to an enemy, its, its attack to an enemy, uh, so basically Lava Blood Goliath's ability, and also has summon, draw cards equal to the highest attack among your other units. So very exciting top end card. I expect to see that card a lot in Reanimator, but here we have Illegalism trying to get it out the fairway with Tokus and Aurelian Merchant. This card is a house. I was playing the other day. It was I think it was sometime last week when this card was legal, but the full flame set wasn't out yet. And I gotta say, I had not been paying attention to what was going on because my opponent landed this against me, and I was like. Wait, what? What card is this now? And it completely hosed me that game. Yeah, this deck looks pretty sweet. So it's kind of your classic control deck. You've got the removal and permafrost, torch, equivocate, display, howling peak, some ways to get power, and then just a, a ton of top end. Just look at these beaters. I mean, you got Tokas, you got Sandstorm Titan, Heart of the Vault, Zhou, Kairos. This deck just seems so much power on the top end here. Yep, I mean, that's what Genev does. Plays a lot of interactive elements and then plays really big things that are hard to deal with. All right, uh, players are not yet in game. Not yet in game. We're waiting on uh, Illegalism here to, to show up. Um, let me see if any of the other rounds are, are starting while we're waiting for that one. And then let me switch over. I'll switch over to show... Um, the knuckle knuckle track knuckle, knuckle tracks deck here, uh, as Yurik U calls it, while we're while we're checking on the the other players here. I should use that view more often. I don't use that one. I just use the. Uh, I don't know. I have that view on, and it's just not in separate columns. Maybe I should use that one more often. Yes, it's not organized like that one is. All right, so our 1-0 players are Doc28, Gold47, yeah. Certified Bronze, and the Overmaster. The Overmaster playing that... Uh, so we have two Alessi decks, uh, both Certified Bronze and... No, 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 sorry. Doc28 and the Overmaster are playing the uh, Zoltan Arc... Yeah, what was it? Zolta Arcanum with... That's really confusing. Zolta Arcanum, Praxis Arcanum. <laughs> anyway, so both of them are playing Alessi decks. Gold 47 is playing a good old Stone Scar deck, and Certified Bronze is playing uh, the Elysian 
aggro deck, which we haven't seen yet. Hopefully we'll get a get a shot to see that either at, at the end of this round or during the next round. All right, well, we just flipped over. Uh, while we're <clears> waiting <throat> on Yuriku's opponent to show up, uh, we did just switch over, and we just saw Doc28 uh, just hit for hit for Xaxes here against Gold47 to take game one. So it looks like Doc28, uh, with a powerful draw there, defeating Gold47 in game one. So Doc28 is up 1-0 on Gold47, and they're going to jump back in. Uh, while we're waiting on the opponent, we'll observe that game again. So I think these are these are the winner's bracket, yes? So these are 1-0s? Yes. All right, so Doc 28, we got Smuggler, Smuggler, Seek Power, and Gold 47, Classic Stone Star Draw, War Leader, Desecrate, Rista, and Champion of Chaos. Pretty good hand, actually. Now, what does Doc 28 have here in the market to grab? Stand Together, Shenra Speaks, Rizan, Kairos, and the Praxis Banner. There's, there's Kairos there in the market for Doc 28. Hmm. So one big weakness that the Alessi decks tend to have is that Vara is a huge problem. But in this aggressive build of Stone Scar that Gold 47 has brought, there's no Vara. So with that in mind, I feel like I feel like the Alessi deck might just have the advantage because the card that usually is a huge headache for them just totally isn't there. We see a defiance on Gold 47's Black Hall War Leader. Just going to play a Champion of Chaos that has that can be answered by this pristine light though. Let's see what Doc has on top. Yeah. Seek power probably doesn't need additional power here. No, Gold's still got some got some gas. They've got Instigator, they've got a Smuggler, and they've got this Rista. So this Doc 28's still gonna need some cards to answer. Those smugglers yeah. can answer pretty well, um, but I'm sure Doc is looking for something a little bit more powerful here. Well, Doc does have a Rizan in the market, and that's a nice little yeah, two-for-one. That can answer a lot of the threats out of the Stone Scar deck. They're going to trade off that yeah. awkward Vanquish that doesn't hit anything right now for the Rizan, and that's going to be a pretty fo powerful play next turn for sure. Yeah, outside of the Champion of Chaos, Gold 47 doesn't have any targets, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Not, I don't believe so. Can't hit the Rista. Oh, you might be able to if you get creative, but <laughs> most of the time. Most of the time. All right, going to use a Desecrate to kill the blocker. Yeah, and just get in there. Yeah, but this is going to be a real powerful Riz on here. Well, there's it the Obliterate, is. though, in hand. Yeah, I mean, like, yes, you get a two-for-one with this Riz on here, but... Gold 47 already got a two for one with that Rista, right? Mm -hmm. it, uh, part of what makes Rista so powerful is that it is a real threat and it also provides power. I, mean, I imagine we're going to see an obliterate. Yep. Yep, the obliterate's going to be that. Now, Doc 28's still at 16, so they're not, they're not quite dead yet. Uh, they have some time to stabilize here, but they're going to need to keep answering. Gold 47 just keeps putting down threats. Yeah, I, I really like Gold 47's setup here with. You know, two more threats in hand, and then answer for this 2-1. Oh my goodness. Kairos? Holy cow. Yeah, it's a little bit away from that, though. Gold yeah, seven, I mean... Uh, are they going to play out both two drops? No, they're going to play it slow. They're only going to play out the first one. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense to go for Shenra Speaks there out of the market. Uh, going for Kairos, Doc28 needs Gold47 to brick three times before the Kairos can really do anything. Or, or I guess, uh, uh, no, 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 Doc needs himself to brick. Anyway, That's yeah, that heart of the vault is, the top. is very That's going to be huge. Drawing yeah, a smuggler no. and then having a Kairos' choice as well. So nice, nice draws there for Doc, even though he can't play the Kairos for a while. Uh, nice draws that are going to keep answering what, what Gold 47's thrown out. Did I see this correctly? Gold 47 made that attack with... A flame blast that can do six in hand. Okay, well, I think you flame blast the heart of the vault, right? Yep. You got to get that off the table. Maybe that was just a chump check. Are they gonna? Are they gonna block the three three? Called him on it. Not not sure. But... Well, that is some serious next level block. <laughs> I am thoroughly impressed. You're gonna play out the two one, and has has a stand together here. Oh, 
but staying together is not going to stop this bandit queen. Oh, yeah. That becomes four. Yep, so can't block either of these, although there is the Kairos' choice, there and is that Kairos's is... Choice. Yeah, that's a fast spell. That that card is very good. Yeah, that card we've seen I, that a couple times today for sure. I've been very impressed by it. Gold forty seven is going to shift out the conscript. Doing four on yeah, with, damage here, coming in in a couple turns. Ooh, and this damage. Yeah, experience. it might be difficult to fight through this uh, Pearl Abbey smuggler. So getting the uh, unblockable for just that one turn might be enough to pair with a flame blast or something in order to do lethal. Yeah, but gold 47 running out of gas. I mean, they they tried hard. They had a lot of threats. Doc really big. Doc basically needed to answer gold 47's threats every single turn of this game to have a chance here. But they did. They they kept drawing answers yeah. and kept drawing answers and stabilized here. Yeah, and, and gold 47 is looking at lethal. Yep, and that's going to be it. And that's going to be 2-0 for Doc. Well played, Doc. 